So what is it that black entrepreneurs get wrong as we try to build a successful business? We're going to talk about that in today's episode of Black Men's Career. So what's going on, guys? It's Uzziah, your success strategist. And today I want to tell you about the top three things that black entrepreneurs get wrong that's stopping us from dominating the industry the way that we should. So I've been very blessed in my lifetime to accomplish some great things. I'm a real estate investor, a best-selling author, and an entrepreneur, and I want to show my community how to be able to get ahead. And the number one thing that I notice most black entrepreneurs do mistakenly is to go into the market with a product or a service without doing any learning about how the game is played. If you want to be successful in a business, you have to understand the nature of business. You can't think that you're going to get ahead simply because you have a good idea. So if you are striving to build a business, are you dedicating yourself to becoming a learning machine? Are you dedicating yourself to learn the ins and outs? Just because you didn't see one YouTube video of somebody talking about business, that doesn't mean that you're ready to get started down that path. What you've got to do is you've got to dedicate yourself to knowing the ins and outs. You've got to learn the tricks of the trade. And that's the reason why I got written on this board right now zero learning because a lot of us we're guilty of zero learning don't you know that the average ceo in america today reads one book a week it's 52 weeks in a year so they're doing a ton of learning but a lot of us feel that just because we have talent we've got creativity we feel that we have a certain gift in a particular area we really don't need to learn anything. We can just take what we got, bring it out into the market, and then everybody's going to be in love with it. And if you carry that mentality, competing in a world with 7 billion people that are all competing for the same exact resources as you, I'm going to tell you this right now, you got another thing coming. <laughs> you got another thing coming if you think that you're just going to be able to take whatever it is that you're working with now with no understanding on how to be able to do your accounting with no understanding about how to be able to do your marketing no understanding about how to be able to create process you really don't understand the nature of business this is what stops our community from being able to have explosive business growth We've got to learn how the game is played. And you know what? That becomes a barrier because a lot of us did not learn business growing up. We didn't learn it from our parents. We didn't learn it from our friends. We didn't learn it from, you know, all these distant relatives that we might have seen at the family reunion. A lot of times we're trying to pick up on things right now today that we really should have learned many years ago down the line, okay? So what you got to do if you want to be successful is you got to dedicate yourself to becoming a learning machine. Long before I ever got behind the camera, I was always behind the scenes learning my craft inside and out, learning what the industry leaders were doing, learning what was happening in the marketplace, learning about everything that I needed to do in order to be able to put my best foot forward in growing my business. That's the same thing that you got to do if you want to compete. Number two, you got to understand proper marketing, okay? Just simply providing people your product and their service and telling people to go out and get it is not effective marketing. A lot of times we've grown up in the hood and we might have seen maybe one or two black businesses, but you saw zero marketing and there was an expectation that businesses were going to be supported by other black people just because. 
if you're going to be successful, you got to understand that a big portion of all of your business efforts has to go towards marketing your business. They got a famous saying in society. It says, if a tree falls down in the forest and nobody else is around to hear it, does it make a sound? In other words, what that saying is, you could have the very best business in the world. You could have, you know, the number one solution to be able to change the game in somebody's life. But if you are not putting your product or service in front of the right people, there's no way in hell that they're going to find out enough to ever make the decision to buy from you. Okay. You got to know that a big part of your business, it all comes down to marketing. And if I'm going to be quite honest with you, if you are an aspiring business owner or you started a business, maybe a one or two years ago, still trying to get yourself going, a large portion of your business right now should have to do with a lot of marketing just to put yourself out there because you need growth. You need awareness. You need people to know that you exist. You need to start getting some eyeballs on your products or services because if nobody knows that you exist, how are you ever going to sell what you got to sell? I hope you don't think that your product or service that you're working on is just going to sell itself. You got to be out there and you got to be doing some promotion. And if nobody is following you on your social media, if nobody is following you as a part of your email list, if nobody is coming to your brick and mortar location because of the fact that they don't know that your business is in existence, do not ever expect for your business to be successful. Long before you go out and, you know, buy all these fancy gadgets and tools and all these strategies, what you need to be doing is first and foremost, learning how to be able to market yourself in your industry and then coming up with an effective marketing strategy that you can execute on day by day, okay? So the number two thing is that we create a product but the product has no marketing. You've got to be able to market your business. All right, number three, you've got to have the ability to be able to sell at the right price points. A lot of us are guilty of underselling, okay? Sometimes we oversell. <laughs> but a lot of us, because of the fact that we come from certain neighborhoods, certain backgrounds, we don't really feel too confident in what it is that we have to offer to other people. And we're quick to hear other black people always discrediting what it is that we're doing in our businesses. And so what we'll do is we'll try to lower our price points to try to appease everybody. But you can't please everybody. What's the formula to failure? Trying to please everybody. So one of the biggest problems that we have is underselling. A lot of times your product should be sold for a higher price than what it is. You might have dreams and ambitions of making a high amount of income, but you're never going to be able to get to that high amount of income if you're practically giving away your product and you're not walking away with any type of profit margins on the basis of your sales. If you're gonna be doing this as a full-time business, you gotta walk away with something to be able to keep a roof over your head. If you're gonna be growing a team, you gotta be able to give something to your staff. You gotta be able to have money to keep the lights on and keep your operations going. And a lot of times what we will do is out of a spirit of guilt, wanting to please everybody and sell to everybody and you know worrying about other people's judgments, oftentimes we feel guilty for being successful in the black community if we don't feel like everybody is at that level. And so what we will do is 
we will water down our prices, which will end up crippling our business. Let me tell you this, 80% of all small businesses in America fail within five years due to a lack of cash flow. And one of the reasons why so many businesses are unsuccessful is because they are selling a product or a service that doesn't have the proper price points to keep themselves in the game, okay? It's one thing if you are a price or cost competitor, like you're a Walmart. You got all of these wholesale products, you're able to sell it for rock bottom price cheaper than anybody else, and you just have so much massive quantity and so much massive scale that you can get out so many products and quantities of products and be able to make a hell of a lot of money even though you're selling it at a rock bottom price. That's one thing. But in many cases, you're not even in a price game. You might be in a totally different game. You might be a quality competitor. You might be offering something a little bit more premium which means that you should only be looking for premium buyers. Cheapskates should not even be in the market for your business. But because of the fact that you haven't gotten the learning on what type of customer is the right customer versus what type of customer is the wrong customer, you feel like because certain people are not interested in your business, it must mean that your business is a failure. When in actuality, in many cases, if certain people are not interested in your business, in many cases, that might mean you're doing something right because your business model wasn't suited for them, okay? If you're marketing to the wrong people, because marketing to the wrong people is just as bad as no marketing. <laughs> That's why I'm pointing at the board. This says creating a product with no marketing, but if you market in an improper fashion, it's pre pretty much like having no marketing at all because it's still going to fall on deaf ears because nobody's going to buy it. If you don't understand who's supposed to be your ideal customer, you're never going to market to the right people. You know, I've heard people say things before, like pertaining to my services, that I should go out and, you know, hop in the middle of a fast food restaurant, start pitching my business ideas and thoughts to them, all because of the fact that we lack the understanding on who our proper customers are. When you know the right customers to go after, you got to make sure that you hit them right with the right price. And a lot of times we will sell ourselves short because we're trying to reach everybody when in fact reaching everybody is the death of our business. Ferrari doesn't try to sell to everybody. Gucci doesn't try to sell to everybody. Ralph Lauren Polo doesn't try to sell to everybody. So why should you? We got to learn how the game is played if we want to be successful in our business. If we don't learn, we're on a path to failure, okay? Because society is always changing. When something cutting edge comes out and we don't know anything about it, we're liable to fall off, okay? If we're not doing the right marketing, we don't know how to keep our business doors open because nobody's coming through. You gotta be able to put it in front of the right people. And if we are underselling, eventually, your expenses are going to outweigh your revenues, okay? So make sure that if you wanna learn more about this topic, click the link below. I'm gonna give you a link to this free empire builder. I wanna show you how to be able to build an empire from scratch. Maybe you haven't never set up a business before in your life and you wanna learn how, I'm going to show you how in this free gift, okay? It's going to give you for five consecutive days all the steps that you need to take in order to go from having nothing starting with scratch to being able to get a better career, to being able to make the jump out of a nine to five and to a full-time business if that's what you want to do. I want to show you how to build an empire. So click the link below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Be your brother's keeper and share this with a friend. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care.